Hello everyone! Um, we are here today uh, starting our city about system. Yeah, the old and the new system. And I'm so happy to be here talking with David about the subject that I have like the last 10 years in my life studying and involving myself. I I did my graduate in psychology and after that I started to do my postgraduate, my specialization in systemic therapy. It's the therapy of family, groups, couples, and after starting work with group therapy, hospital, school, so many kind of system. And I have realized how the system is so uh, strong in my life, actually uh, all of the lives, but gives limitation, problems to my life, and give as well, gives as well humanity issues. So it's something now I see as a mission to talk and help people really understand this. Because we under, when we understand about the system, I think we understand our responsibility. And then we can start to have a kind of revolutionary action. So <laughs> That might be a little bit strong. But yeah, but... We need to look at the system and realize that the system that we have been living in needs a lot of changes. Yeah. It's inadequate. Uh, it's throwing us in the wrong direction and goes right down to the original educational system which programs us to be workers in a system that is no longer appropriate. Getting good jobs in a society that is destroying the planet doesn't make any sense. Yeah. So, uh, the corona situation has allowed us to stop and we need to look at what we're doing before we just go back to whatever many systems many I systems didn't mean to cut you off, of but the, I, I always use the word evolution mm -hmm. not revolution mm -hmm. because revolution triggers red flags on the internet yeah. and whatnot yeah yeah it is evolution and it was a sean phillips song back in the 70s it says, there's no such thing as revolution it's called evolution evolution it's changing and moving forward adapting to the way things are changing in the world around us so that's what we really need to do mm -hmm. yeah when i say revolution I, I super agree but when i say revolution is a kind of the as the system you know the new revolution yeah, it's is a revolution something in consciousness it's con exactly not that in, was i say yeah. like is the new revolution is not go outside and fight and make noise yeah. is exactly opposite is look inside of us yeah go like dive in our inner world so when we do this we are change outside but let's talk more later so um, now i want to ask you david um, if you can uh, explain talk about your uh, relation with the system how do you see this and how your experience yeah mm -hmm. about system and Oh. Yeah, well, I, I'd start by saying that I stepped out of the system in 1969. Mm -hmm. Coming from a place of having adapted well to it and having a good uh, government job in Ontario, Canada, a job that was guaranteed for life, etc., but there was just something missing, something wrong, and I, I resigned my position and went traveling the world to find essentially the purpose, what was life really all about, and then discovered in that process that for all the Eastern traditions, life is about evolution. It's about spiritual evolution, reconnecting consciousness, elevating consciousness to a higher state that goes beyond death into a, a bigger universe that is essentially universal rather than stuck just on this planet. And holding on to life here because you don't want to go anywhere else. So this was part of my discovering as I traveled and learned. 
and then looking back as I learned more and more about this new way of life, looking at the old system, realizing, well, there's a lot of uh, mistakes, and there's a lot of problems in the old system. I mentioned the educational system, which programs us to just be good workers or good soldiers or, or whatever to do what we're supposed to do according to who. Mm -hmm. you know, now who is pretty corrupted, but um, the idea of getting a good job without questioning what's the purpose of this job and what's it doing, this is a fundamental. We don't question anything, we just accept mm -hmm. what the authorities tell us. And this is very much part of the system. We are educated to be obedient. To, mm -hmm. to the people in power, and if you look at the people in power, they're coming from a place of uh, greed and business. Essentially, it's the multinational corporations that are presently ruling the world. And these are not enlightened corporations. They vote for profit, for business, and they set up the system. Mm -hmm. And in India, I studied with um, Dr. Swami Gitananda, who kind of opened my mind to the system of medicine and what's going on in there. So here's another system of uh, medical, it's a medical establishment that has become very ingrained in the pharmaceutical corporations and it's not a health care system, it's a disease and cure system, but they don't have the cure, it's a disease and treatment which goes on mm -hmm. and on, but they haven't taught us how to be healthy, mm -hmm. which goes back to the educational system. We're taught in primary school that we're victims to disease, we're, mm -hmm. you know, vulnerable to bacteria, to viruses. We're not taught anything about how our own immune system is mm -hmm. capable of dealing with all these things. We're taught to be victims in, of invisible little things mm -hmm. floating through the air. Yeah, or the system is saying we don't have time to do the na natural treatment, so we need to have some medications, and the doctor needs to say to 20 yeah. minutes. That's usually the session <laughs> with doctors. Yeah. What do we have? Yeah. And sometimes yeah. it's so complex, you know, we are emotional, mental, yeah, yeah. physical, spiritual. But as you said, there's no time for that. Everybody's in a rush, and we're. We're moving forward fast. Nobody knows where we're going, but we're moving forward. And the doctor has these 20 minutes, and he listens to your symptoms, and he records, remembers his education. For this symptom, you prescribe this drug, and then there we go. Mm -hmm. This is the way the system works. That also, it's, it's a bad system. Mm -hmm. It's not dealing with the person, your stress levels, your... You know, aside from the symptoms that are maybe physiological or in some cases psychological, mm -hmm. what's the whole life situation and the lifestyle that has created this problem mm -hmm. for you? Looking at the whole picture, that's not part of the medical system. Mm -hmm. Not even looking at diet and what you eat, if you've got cancer or whatever, they tell you, oh, well, whatever you eat doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. it's and it's not something, uh, our system, yeah, like the for example, the medical system, empower us to understand about their self. They just say, like, the diagnostic and see you next week. Yeah. They don't explain. We don't understand what's really happened. Like, the what's happened? What's happening and why? And why and yeah. what I did and how I can change, how I can improve. Yeah. Now, this is what I'm saying about... The education mm -hmm. teaches us to be victims and that we have to go see a doctor if we have a health issue. Whereas we're not, then we're not responsible for our own health. And like I said, even about like you got cancer or some serious disease, they don't talk ask you what you've been eating, mm -hmm. or maybe they'll say something about exercise, but really they're based on the treatment, which is going back to some kind of drugs or surgery, mm -hmm. which is what they were educated for. But it's missing the boat as yeah. far as, what about becoming healthy? And what about simply developing our immune system so that we don't have health problems? Yeah. And, and this is something that I have done. I don't have health problems. Yeah. I haven't had for decades. And you know, I'm 71 years old and no health issues whatsoever. So if I yeah. can do this, and, and yoga is my system of mm -hmm. health, 
So again, this is a new system that has entered the Western Hemisphere, and you know, thousands of people are now practicing yoga. Millions of people are now practicing yoga, mm -hmm. but only a small percentage of what yoga is. And if you consider mm -hmm. the mind-body medicine, the whole uh, breathing thing of how important oxygen is, mm -hmm. and all these things, and the spiritual body, yeah, yeah the spiritual, the the, con the <laughs> connection of consciousness and the mind-body understanding of how this all mm -hmm. works together, mm -hmm. and and. Uh, in your in your job as a yogi or yoga teacher how do you introduce uh, that view like about system do you do well, this how yeah. you do yeah system is the thing and yoga in the west has become a fragmented kind of a fitness program but it's really a whole system of education of understanding mind body connection understanding the energetic links that goes from the brain to the body through the nervous system it's a flow of energy that empowers turns on the glands and the organs and then there's the energetic level and then there's the, the chemical uh, hormonal level of the endocrine system again it's a, it's a system of looking at how everything in the body works and cooperates and moves to give us life, give us power to digest food, to make us immune, mm -hmm. uh, figuring out bugs, bacteria, and viruses, and making counter bugs and you know, antibodies that are designed to defeat whatever's coming into us. This is all part of the human system, mm -hmm. which was designed not by humans, <laughs> but by a universal intelligence, which we could consider spiritual, you can call it God if you like, but it's, it's an intelligence that's built right in to the universe and is developing and evolving creation of every living thing mm -hmm. with an immune system that is capable of handling and always adapting to new bugs, new environment, new viruses. We're designed with this capability. Mm -hmm. So I teach this and I teach about all the glands and organs in the body more than the stretching and the muscles and flexibility. It's about the condition of all the internal organs. This is our life support system. Mm -hmm. It's a system. And understanding this system is, is quite important to see how the whole thing works. Mm -hmm. I mean, in Western thought, which is quite distant, different from Eastern thought, where they, in Eastern thought, you look at the oneness, how everything is together. You integrate. Yeah. In Western, you separate everything. So you've got a whole bunch of separate sciences. You've got biology, and you've mm -hmm. got medicine, and you've got uh, physics, and then quantum physics, which is really cool because discovering everything all over again. But they're all separated, and they don't really communicate. Whereas if you put it all together, you get a much bigger picture of how reality works. And in the human body, it's a system of glands and organs and functions and brain that are all working together and if you fragment the system and take it apart it doesn't work you can't just take the part out and it's going to keep working it stops it needs to be connected to the system i mean you can take an analogy and take an automobile instead of buying a car you go to an auto parts store and you buy wheels and pistons and and uh, gears and spark plugs you got all the parts, but it's not assembled into a system mm -hmm. that can work. So this is a criticism I have of Western education, is there's so many different parts. Mm -hmm. You specialize in this or that, but there's no integrated whole. Mm -hmm. So at the foundation of these systems, the educational system is severely outdated mm -hmm. as far as what we learn about medicine, what we learn about physics. Quantum physics has completely revolutionized the way we see reality. Yeah, for but them, it, it is good it. we we keep being uh, ignorant of ignorant. all yeah of all these subjects. Like uh, if we don't understand, then we need them. we we cannot like yeah. you know like change or try to do different so it's the same like what i see uh, as a psychologist and work with people and create facilitate communications like when we talk 
we don't see, we, we don't realize that actually we are talking through the system. We are creating, like the belief system, we are creating our opinions, we are uh, seeing like we, our yeah. perspective. C well, we were educated. Come from the system, we not educated our heart. by the system, yeah. Exactly, so, so when we have a discussion, I don't know, David, I didn't like what you do. Actually, this perspective, this opinion, it's through this. It's from the system. It's not exactly from myself, like my heart. For it's sure, it's not, from myself yeah. because I am a it's creation not, yeah, of intuitive. the system. <laughs> yeah. But I think for me, like my job, my vision, it's super important. Like it's so simple, but so complex. In the, in the same time, like, yeah, everything we say, we think, we do, we do, is, are from the system. Well, everything you say is in the language that you have learned by the present mm -hmm. systems, languages in the civilization. Yeah. And what we say comes with what we have learned how to say, the phrases we say it with, and the opinions and belief system that's was woven into that. So mm -hmm. it's like we need to re-educate ourselves. It's like we need to take a computer occasionally and reboot it or change up create the programs so mm -hmm. we have all these programs in our mind mm -hmm. that need to be upgraded to a new understanding of life and we haven't done that and science is saying hey things are not the way we thought they were reality is not fixed and solid it's interacting with our consciousness and our mind all the time this is quantum physics this is the new reality and mm -hmm. people are not grasping this. This is mm -hmm. amazingly yeah. empowering for us, but the people who are in power, of course, don't want people to understand this, because then you're quite yeah. independently healthy, happy, and you can create the life you want, rather than getting a job, making things that someone else wants you to make so that they can sell them and drive it up. Yeah, but I feel now we are waking up, like, yeah. and actually, this is my last question. Um, so we are in 2020, mm -hmm. like this really turbulent year and that many people are talking about new age, we are in a transition and so uh, why do you think it's so important right now we talk and understand about the old system mm -hmm. and right. yeah and the new and because think and build the new one yeah because we're at that stage in human development where there's a major shift happening and you can see it and we've seen it in technology but well blown away by all the new stuff but humans have not changed significantly we've just created computers that are so much more intelligent than us and artificial intelligence is way beyond us no intuition mm -hmm. but intellectually superior but we need to grasp for ourselves what I was saying about the quantum physics has revolutionized our whole view of reality this is the the base science all the other sciences are founded on quantum physics which says now that molecules and atoms are not actually real they're vibrant pieces of energy in vibration in a vibrational state and this is influenced by our consciousness and how mm -hmm. by the observer the consciousness of the observer the expectations of the observer this is telling us that we are co-creating reality mm -hmm. and completely different perspective from what you and I were taught in school. Like reality is here, it's fixed, and bang, you're in it. You're mm -hmm. stuck in it, and you're a victim in it, and, and everything. So changing the whole belief system, realizing, I mean, in yoga, you learn to influence and control your body. You learn to influence how you breathe, how fast or slow your heart is going. You can relax it or speed it up. You can tune up the various glands and organs mm -hmm. 
learning how to do this, again, this should be part of our primary education. Children can learn this really quickly. Mm -hmm. But it's the whole foundation of science, this quantum reality is telling us that there are unlimited possibilities. So the concept of disease and health become very different when you realize, well, my immune system is capable of creating antibodies, uh, killer T-cells, and all these things which will wipe out disease. Mm -hmm. And the antibodies are capable of looking at a new virus and creating an antibody for that virus and neutralizing it, you know, within 24 hours. But if you don't know that and you're in fear, it doesn't work. So the, the concepts of fear and competition and uh, disease mm -hmm. and, and inequality Control. and poverty, all of these things are, are creations Mm -hmm. of an unjust and ignorant system mm -hmm. which is not teaching us the truth about what reality actually is and why we're here which goes into the, the realm of spiritual realities that's mm -hmm. been delegated off into religions which are kind of obsolete the new religion is essentially medicine yeah actually everybody believes they're doctors when the doctors are just programmed to look at a symptom and give a drug they're not enlightened by any means can be intelligent, but intelligence used in the wrong way to control people, make them sick, and then sell them a solution. Yeah, yeah if we are intelligent, we don't need them. Yeah, you don't need. Well, that's yeah. That this is my point, and what I've been teaching people for years. Hey, just become healthy. Mm -hmm. And the people I've taught, you know, 700 people who have come through here and graduated here, they all have learned that you can stimulate your immune system by uh, fasting, detoxing, and breathing deep and doing these yoga postures. And mm -hmm. I, I'd be curious to know how many of them got yeah, COVID or infected. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because your immune system, if you get the COVID virus, if there actually is a real such thing, then you're automatically creating an antibody for it and there's no problem. And how many Millions of people have been infected, and it was no problem. Mm -hmm. But again, the system focuses on, oh, Bob, some people die. Well, yeah, people die anyway. Mm -hmm. People die of the flu. So mm -hmm. you know, we're, we're focusing on the wrong thing. And this is the, the use of intelligence, artificial intelligence, and public media to spread fear, mm -hmm. rather than to teach us the possibilities of, hey, let's just become healthier. Yeah, that is totally the opposite of spiritual, yeah, of the sense of life. Yeah. It's something like the competition and who is the best or they say how is we need to be. So they have one model, yeah. like <laughs> it's Modern. like everyone is the same, yeah, Fit one model. Image, yeah. And if you want to be to like get the such the social the or if you want to be someone like really good or successful, as su successful yeah. or someone is an example or whatever you need to be like this model and yeah, yeah I mean, for women you got the playboy model as one thing and for the men it's, yeah, it's all the point yeah. the mercedes benz and, and whatnot and this is success well and it, what you were talking uh, i uh, i was feeling something like uh, about what you teach and how is your teachings uh, and I see something more, yeah, beyond teaching, is about sharing, yeah, when we mm -hmm. want to empower someone, yeah, like, you, you can uh, know about your health, you can uh, control your health, you can government your health, you are Governing, not just, huh? yeah, you are not just teaching, you are sharing, and this word, share, this verb is, for me, my vision and my intuition says as well, is the new, maybe the new money, but the new uh, way from the uh, to the new system. Yeah. yeah so yeah. it's not about sharing and equality rather than not sharing hoarding and you yeah. got this, you know, this duality of the poor and the absolutely rich. It's not it, say it, to people what they need to do or what is the true truth or what is the truth is share how you deal with your life 
is share your knowledge, is share uh, the best way to, to understand or to do this, and then people can choose. Yeah, give them the options. Yeah, it's different. Show them, yeah, I mean, you can I teach people and show them how to become healthy, but it takes effort and willpower, and not everybody will do that. So you can mm -hmm. at some point, oh, I get sick. Well, then you go to a doctor and get some medicine and get fixed. But if you have the capability and the knowledge to make yourself healthy and you actually do it, mm -hmm. then you don't need the old system. Mm -hmm. So we we'll stop here. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, on to the next one. We'll have more of these discussions. Yeah, we'll lots yeah. Lots to say. The, our idea is... Um, talk, discussion, share some experience and create this space for us to reflect about the old and the new and how to yeah. build the new system. Yeah, and the, the transition point that we're yeah. at because we're all at this point. The global humanity is in change and transformation and we just need to direct which way we want the change to go. We the people need to do this. The politicians and the corporations want everything to stay the same because they've gotten filthy rich by the way things have been. And that's one of the things that needs to change. Okay. All right. Thank you guys for listening thank and we'll uh, talk again. Thanks for yeah. questioning and your input and your energy. R r r r revolutionary. <laughs> Evolution. Let's do it. Okay. okay.